Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on for our next deck, which is going to be another Hero Precinct 1 deck. We have Esper Midrange here. Um, so this is another donation deck, and the person that, that donated for the deck here said that the inspiration of the deck is like Mardu or Grixis Pyromancer. So we have, uh, you know, basically like our, our young Pyromancer is Hero of Precinct 1. Do we want to play this early? and then start playing our uh, defensive slanted. Um, well, I mean, Thieves Sandy's not defensive slanted, but these other these other cards, uh, multicolored spells to start making some 1-1 one -one tokens and comparing Seraph of the Scales and even Dovin. Both of these, these cards kind of compare to Lingering Souls, uh, being able to make multiple bodies um, as well. You know, Seraph has the 4-3 at first, then whenever it dies, you get the two 1-1s, one -one and Dovin can kind of just over time make one ones um there's a couple of things that i am pretty uh, skeptical about the deck i'm i'm very skeptical about having kaya's rats in here to go with with these with uh like hero and thief and and stuff like that you know those are hero and thief and kaya's wrath are they're basically cards that are doing exact polar opposite things. And, you know, like Hero Precinct 1, you know, can go wide. Kai's Wrath stops that. I don't know. So we'll, we'll kind of see. I certainly understand of this kind of deck being behind at times. You need to Kai's Wrath and then, like, you save your Hero and Thief for after you Kai's Wrath. You know, like, you have the ability to, to, to do that and everything. So I kind of under, understand that uh, for sure. Um, absorb, same kind of thing, but uh, if you get to untap with thief and then and then have absorb up, that's really good. Kind of thing, but I, I could see you also just being behind and absorb not working. I don't know. We'll kind of see. So you know we're we're basically we're you know we're similar to Esper Control, but then we have like these aggressive elements and everything. So. You know, that's something I'm, I'm a little, you know, hesitant about, or you know, I just want to see how it plays out and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then uh, sideboard, sideboard looks pretty good, except for, except for deputy of detention. I I haven't found deputy of detention to be a a playable card in this kind of deck. I honestly don't know where we would want deputy of detention or anything. Like I guess like. Obviously, if you exile Hydroid Crisis specifically, specifically Hydroid Crisis, that's good. But the one three body, like these 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 games, especially with this deck, the games are going to go very long. Uh, I guess tokens also. Okay, so yeah, so tokens. So that's another thing. But you can also just have like Cry of the Carnarium. I don't know. The games are going to go really long, and the one three body doesn't matter. And so you're basically paying three mana for a O ring, for an Oblivion ring, or a Conclave Tribunal. If you don't, you know, like, but basically you have like that that effect that is incredibly vulnerable because one threes are very vulnerable. So we'll kind of see how that works out. I'm I'm very you know this is just to be fair I haven't played this deck and and the person that donated for this deck has played it quite a bit so. Um, Play Deputy against Mono Blue. Okay. It is just three mana sorcery speed removal against Mono Blue, but it, at least it does not get negated or spell pierced. Like, we could have something like Sky Tether or Isolate, other things like that if we're just playing for Mono Blue. I don't know. We'll see how, we'll see how it plays out. Um... Okay, but that's what this is what we got. We can certainly have like some starts. Like we're gonna have like Thief of Sanity is amazing, right? And so so is Teferi, Teferi, Thief of Sanity, Seraph of the Scales. These cards are just really powerful. So we're gonna have some times where we're just thought erasure our opponent, play a Thief, and then have Absorb back up, and just kind of go from there. Um, so let's try it out. Asper midrange. So just kind of saying some things I'm skeptical about, but that's without playing the deck, of course.
Bell Hunt is, is a good option for Mono Red. I don't really like Bell Hunt against Mono Blue. Mono White can go over Bell Hunt pretty easily. As far as like the, the more played um, aggressive decks, but for Mono Red in specific in specific, uh, Bell Hunt is awesome there. All right, so good good opener here with the Thought Razor Thief of Sandy on the play. We got some Nair folk. It's a little bit of a problem with us. I don't really like Thief of Sandy too much in this matchup. Because they, like, not necessarily like in this matchup, but against aggro decks, because they can just outrace Thief of Sanity. And like if, if we play like the turn three Thief, like we may need to like Kaiserath to keep from getting outraced kind of thing. Uh, their hand isn't spectacular. I mean, I could take Jade Light, but they don't have double green. I could just take a Jade Bearer, which is one mana and two power. But Jade Bearer is most likely going to put on this Kumana Speaker. I'll just take the Jade Light. Because the, the Jade Bearers, they can't even double spell with the Jade Bearers anyway. With the mana that we saw in hand. Oh, Silver Gull adapt. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. Uh, not finding land is not a good draw. I would have much rather taken Silver Gill Adept or Divination, either of those than the Jade Light Ranger. Especially the Adept. Alright, so this is a land that lets us cast Thief. Which I guess that's that's where we're going with. Yeah, I guess so. We can't I don't think we can really ditch a land. It'd be pretty greedy to, to ditch the land and then not be able to play anything. I think I'm just blocking with Thief. I'm blocking with Thief. I guess I can find like one mana creatures for them to play. Okay. Not too big a surprise there. I'm glad we kept the Drowned Catacomb on top last turn. Man. This has been an unfortunate series of events. Yeah, the island could could have been a plains. Plains obviously would be would have been miles better than island here. on deck I don't really know what I'm thinking about though like we're just we don't have any cards in our deck that can help us win from here so I think we'd want Kai's Wrath moment moment and the takers and I, I guess Deputy, you know, like Deputy plus Wrath is really awkward. I don't really see Thief of Sandy being very good in this matchup. I mean, it's okay. But when, you, when you're when you wanting to Kaya's Wrath, 
Like, this is a matchup where we need to be Kaiser, I think. The other card that's not too great is Absorb. So the other way to go, if we don't want to trim, if we don't want to like cut a Thieves Handies, we can cut Absorbs also, because we're gonna need to be tapping out quite a lot, and they just don't really have, you know, really good cards to counter. So we can we can try the Thieves if we get rid of Absorb. We can take out one Thief or one Teferi. No, I'm not going to cut Teferi. Teferi is just awesome. Like Deputy here. Deputy just seems so awkward with Kaya's Wrath. I'm gonna cut one thief in the Dovins. The Dovins making one ones. Seems like our opponent can likely uh, overpower that. So leading with Ascanta to help us hit land drops. You know, playing hero here is the highest upside. But, you know, we need land drops. So Ascanta can help us find land drops. Deputy specifically says something your opponent controls. You cannot target any of your own things with Deputy. Basically, waiting just like they're they're a deck that likely boards in counter spells in this kind of matchup, which is why I don't really want to wait to mortify. It's not a card I was expecting. So Teferi is the best card to play here, but you know, in, if they have a counter counter spell, I don't want them to be able to. I don't want them just to counter the Teferi. So I wanted to test them out here first with the hero and thief. <laughs> yeah, our opponent sideboard in wilderness reclamation just to annoy me. <laughs> yeah, they could certainly have frilled mystic. Absolutely. We do not have any merfolk in our deck to reveal for the Silver Gull Adept. All 
right. So they have one card left. Show remorse. I'll show restraint. So if I do not tuck the mist binder, if they have another sleep, I'm only taking eight. If I do tuck the mist binder, we're not gonna die, but then Teferi dies. Our battlefield I'm not ready for this quest. It's so yet. good that I we don't really need Teferi to survive, honestly. We have as Kanto that's gonna be flipping. We have Seraph and Thief already. Hey, skinny fat man. Day's going pretty good. Day's going pretty good. Just here playing some magic. Uh... Keep up the and pace. now I'm tapping with Teferi and all of this other stuff. We are doing it fine, just fine. This game's over. So the Wilderness Reclamation looks to be quite unnecessary for our opponent. Skip to the good part. Down to two. Really want to play the Silver Girl Adept. We got the Silver Girl Adept in play. All right, can we get game three? Our opponent's Merfolk build looks to be um, a little more of a beginning build. Uh, you know, I don't think our opponent's deck is Super well tuned here. I I hope our opponent takes Wellness Reclamation out of their deck. D do not need that card. Okay, going to game three. 
We didn't play a ton of stuff that first game. It's possible our opponent has counter magic in the sideboard that they are bringing in now after playing that second game. Okay, getting Mardu humans up on YouTube. All right, here we go. Okay, Dutch. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm saying. This this looks like a kind of a, a starting version of of Merfolk. Um, but yeah, I guess there's one kind of similar to to your deck there. Have you so have you changed your deck up to to be like that other kind of Merfolk deck? And if so, how's it been going for you? Because I, I do think that you know like the Merfolk list, they're like five owing and stuff. I do think they're they're pretty uh, competitive. Awesome, it's been going great. Nice. We need more mono black zombies. Yeah, we just played the deck yesterday. We could, we'll probably play it again tomorrow. That was a whole like we played. A, that was a lot of fun that league yesterday. Did our opponent disconnect or something? I hope not. That's an unfortunate way to lose. They disconnect. That's what it's looking like. Okay. Let me just finish up this thumbnail for the YouTube channel. Maybe I disconnected. All right, next match. That match was anticlimactic. <laughs> Quasi Dupla Merfolk. Nice. Alright. I'm not really here to ship turn two as Kanta hands. There you go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Yeah, Dutch, that looks pretty good. Man, what's the deal with us having keeping two landers and not drawing a, a third land? That keeps happening. Gates look like it's going to be pretty tough. I do like having Thieva Sandys here against Gates. Thieva Sandy is a, a really strong card here against Gates most of the time. If we can... Yay! Let's see if we can hit our, our land drop, that is. Thieva Sandy does want you just to have a ton of lands, because when you have extra spells, you just need to continue to hit land drops so you can play the extra spells you gain from Thief, plus like you know your spells in hand and, and so on. So we, we do want to just keep hitting a lot of land drops, hopefully. All 
Alright, please not another ablaze. Please let us attack and have this absorb. Yeah, I don't have anything on the schedule tomorrow, Cryo. So yeah, we have the 12-hour stream tomorrow. I have no donation decks on the schedule. So I'll just be filling out with all the, the decks that I have that I've been wanting to play. Alright, so the opponent did have the double sweeper, unfortunately. And not countering Gate Colossus, because we want to contempt Gate Colossus. To get that gone for good. We want to save Absorb for like the blue enchantment. I guess I keep hero. I'm not going to play hero yet, though, because I want to have absorb available. We'll wait till we can, like, play hero plus have absorb or hero and mortify or something like that. I'd also <clears throat> like Takaya's Wrath first before playing the hero. I'm hoping that one card in their hand doesn't punish us for keeping this for taking this absorb down for a little bit. There's a lot of those things. Be able to flip as Kanta next turn. I can play Mortify. Or sorry, next turn we'll be able to have uh, Thief and Mortify. So I do like I do like how Teferi can tuck a Colossus if need be, but now with having Thief in play, if they just draw a gate here. So I was gonna say if they draw a gate and want to put their Colossus back on top, we get to just Take it with Thief, kind of thing. But I guess we just steal the Krasis and, and let both of those Colossuses go back. I think I should just take the Colossus. Hold that thought. Probably 
problem is I don't want my opponent to redraw Hydro Crisis. Alright, so it doesn't seem like their last card was anything that we need to have a counter spell for. You know what? I'm not done yet. All right, and now drawing the extra land, I get to divi I get to have divination crisis, and still have absorb available. Oh, do not have absorb available. Never mind. Check that whole have absorb available thing. Did not. Click on the white source. Reverse. It's perfectly fine. We have all these extra Teferis. It's probably it's honestly probably better for us that I didn't use Absorb and still have Absorb available, honestly. Like saving Absorb for something that matters a lot more, like a big explosion or a, a guild summit, is honestly going to most likely be better for us. That's just plain annoying. Yeah, it's a lot of life, but I think we just worry about no time to fairy ultimating. And worry about cards that matter, that cards that draw a lot of cards. Archway Angel doesn't draw a lot of cards. What's the most useful deck against gates? Um, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure, honestly. Some people in chat may... No, but I don't know exactly what like the the absolute most useful deck is against Gates, honestly. So before I, I figure out what I want to do with this to fairy, let me activate as Kanta here. to move quickly. Okay, we got game one. All right, so sideboard. Deputy is like somewhat useful here, but yeah, like their plan is just all these sweepers with you know, Gates of Blazes and Deafening Clarions and everything like that. Like, Deputy's just going to get swept up. We saw, like, how much life they had there, like, 40 life. You know, like, the Deputy's just going to die. Like, instead, I want, like, Duress, Negate, and I guess Hostage Taker? Kind of good against Ram and stuff. Ego is certainly okay at times. If you're, like, already behind on the battlefield and getting beaten down by, like, Rams, they have, like, Ram on three and stuff, and you just have Ego... You're just gonna die to a ram, but like once you like kind of stabilize, then ego can do its job. 
of taking out Colossus or Guild Summit, whichever one you're more scared of at the time. It's not a matchup where I really want Hero Precinct 1 with them having their sweepers and everything. Moment of Craving is just a dead card. No, opponent has more than two threats. Dovin also not necessary. They have Gatebreaker Ram, the Colossus, Hydroid Crisis. They should have like mass manipulation here. They may have other things like that after sideboarding. Could have like Niv Mizzet, Carnage Tyrant. They could have those kind of cards. It's another card that I'm cutting. Maybe I'll just trim one negate. Maybe we'll just go three negate. I just play one Kaya's Wrath. And trim the negate. I don't believe that Seraph is garbage. That's kind of mean. Seraph can't have Death Touch and trade with any other creatures. At worst. I already, already talked about Deputy. Oh, I don't want that card. Meow. Putting Seraph on the bottom here, though. We definitely need land. Okay. What are you up to? What are you up to, boy? It wouldn't be just fine playing Thief of Sanity right now. So I'm going to graveyard this. So I think I am just fine playing Thief of Sanity right now. Besides that, I'd rather have Mortify for the Guild Summit. Or even just Land Drops to continue to get to these. Especially, you know, having Teferi. Yeah, Skinny, I'm, I'm excited for the, that, uh, the new Avengers movie coming out here. That's going to be pretty sweet. Yeah, definitely excited to go watch that one. Alright, we need the land. Need to be able to have this Teferi tuck the guild summit. Here in a little bit. I will be countering Circuitous Route very hard if this is Circuitous Route. If this is guild summit, I will be countering it a little softer, but still countering it. It's hard to say the Guild Summit's the strongest card in their deck. It's kind of they have, you know, a few different cards that are very strong situationally. Worst possible scenario, Thief would have been an okay card to play, but I really wanted Teferi to tuck this thing. We did not find our land. Now they could just have like Counterspell Magic up. Not a good time to miss the land drop there. Hey, what's up, Bronze? Thanks for getting that sub in with Twitch Prime. I really do appreciate that. Sub number 10 on the day. Let's get this sub battle countdown. Continue to move down a little bit. We're down to 171.
Space Satan. Also throwing out that support there with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, Space. Yeah, with this being a full-time job, I really do appreciate all of these subscribers. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much for helping me be able to do this here. Alright, we need a Lumbering Battlement Justicers Portal Battle Bus Deck. Alright, we do get to flip. Let's go Library, Transform. Alright, deal. What... What time tomorrow would you like that to be played? I'm known for my excellent time. So yeah, they're going to get another crisis. Much more malleable than I just want to ferry on the battlefield. Anytime after 9, my time. Okay. Got it. Keep up the pace. So basically, if I cast duress, I don't get to activate as Kanta as well. Because you know I need a, I need a contempt to this crisis. Wait, yes I do. Yes I do, I can cast both. Never mind. Yes I can. Alright, so I'll take... Absorb, I guess. So we had, sorry, sorry about that, I was thinking about that, but Skinny Fat Man gifted the sub to Europeans. So welcome to the channel, Europeans, I hope you get to use all your awesome emotes. That gets our sub battle countdown down even farther. Where are we at? We're at 169 now. Hurry! Where are my hype boats? There's my hype boats. We had one more mana. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's take it back. Them having Escanta also is going to be really difficult for us to beat. Skinny Fat Man converting from a Twitch Prime sub to a tier 1 sub. Nice. No, I don't have any Field of Ruins. Hello, Numeri. 
Hello. Alright, plus draw card. Could use Hold that thought. Could use a removal spell right there. Where I don't have to activate the Ascanta also. Uh that's not good. So I guess this crisis is hitting us for six. Banefire is going to finish us off. Oh, nice, Kitty Fat Man. You got that Harry's Razor? Awesome. Glad you loved it. Um, yeah, so if y'all don't know about this, we have an awesome deal with Harry's right now. You can get their starter set for only three bucks. Usually it's $13, get the razor and shaving cream, get their starter sets. Uh, so if you sign up for a subscription, you get $5 off of that 13 The subscription is cancelable anytime. And then if you use my referral link here, coupon code ToddStevensMTG, you get another $5 off. So only $3 free shipping. You know, that's so close to being free with the free shipping and everything. So hope you all check that out. And... Um, you know, help support the stream as well. It's only three bucks. Get a nice Harry's razor. What colors will the battle bus be painted? Probably just black and white. I guess could be Esper. Could go Esper with Hostage Taker as well. But definitely want black and white. Uh, yes, Teferi is... You can kill somebody with Teferi by itself. You just... You know, they... Your opponent just mills out. You just wait till your opponent draws all the cards in their deck. That's that's how you win with Teferi. So casting Thought Erasure first just because it costs more mana. So I want to take Frilled Mystic. No, I'll probably just take the Krasis. Dang it. I wish I would have left him with Krasis. I guess they get to replace the card in their hand, though. Abzan for Knight of Autumn. Ooh, and you just get all the Explore creatures with Abzan. What if you do? What if we do Bant, and it's Prime Speaker Vanifar? I guess you don't really have the removal with Bant, though. How many crises do they have? So they have to ferry three, two other crises, two gate colossus. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, and they had six mana of Raska as well. Oh, that's true. Bell Hunt would be really good there. Alright, VT Log. Have a wonderful night. I guess I could have just taken Banefire and had Negate for Teferi. So they 
don't necessarily need to play Teferi immediately. This doesn't look good for us. We need to draw lands. Really need to draw lands. There we go. There we go, that's a start. It's a lot of life gain. Keep up the pace. Hmm. That last song was stained so far away. This isn't a fight you can win. You need to slow down. So they could bane fire to kill Teferi whether we ticked up or ticked down. Come on. I will be crew. Attack at will. Let's skip to the good part. All right, I'll check that one out. Uh, normal, normal Trent. I'll check that out. No time for a break. I definitely forgot that was Vrasa's ultimate, to be honest. I thought that was the other- I was thinking the other Vrasa's ultimate where if a creature deals damage to you, you lose. Not that you go to one, so Banefire kills you. To be honest, I was thinking that Vrasa ultimate was the other thing, was the other Vrasa ultimate. That if a creature dealt damage to you, you lose. Wrong Vrask ultimate that I was thinking of. So yeah, I, I needed to throw the other Teferi out last turn and absorb. And have absorb for the Frilled Mystic and tuck that. Yes, I know I lose to Banefire now. So a couple pretty good draws there for my opponent drawing. You know, like getting those their planeswalkers. I didn't think that they had too you know like they didn't have too many threats in their deck. 
I kind of liked where we were at after after I cast the Unmoored Ego and looked at their deck. Honestly, liked where we were at. But they drew their last two Teferis and um or their one of their last of their two Teferis because we duress the other one and their one Vraska at a very convenient time. Need, need more lands, just like last game. Alright, so we have the 16 white sources. We have a good amount of white sources. And hopefully get one of get one of the white sources. Could have taken the Bane Fire with duress. With like that second duress that I took to ferry and I had when I had negate available, I think that was like one thing that I regret about that last game that we just played. Turn when we had three mana and I duress and they had bane fire plus to ferry. And I took to ferry, but I had the two mana for negate. If they would have slammed to ferry, it was going to be their it was about to be their turn four with them having five mana because of. Um, the card that lets them draw a card and play an extra land. So that was the thing. I would have been able to counter the Teferi if they would have slammed it the next turn. So I, I kind of regret... Regret that. Um, I guess I'm going to destroy this thing. Because that's basically like killing a creature and killing the history. I don't enjoy seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. So we'll see if we want a hero plus Dova next turn or Teferi. It doesn't make a lot of sense to just let Dovin die. Considering if we just have Dovin die on our turn and make a 1 1, we at least gain a life with like the same number of 1 1s. I don't like it, but I accept defeat. Alright, so that we're gonna go ahead and to ferry. You know what? I'm not done yet. Sure, we can we can tuck the binding, but I don't I don't really want to tuck the binding. I don't want them to be able to, to just have another binding to go draw for the Teferi. Now what? And at least we are even closer to finding a Mortify by ticking up. Yeah, this is a little bit different take on Selesnia. The Selesnia mid range kind of mid range deck. I kind of expect them to have a decent amount of like angels and stuff. I don't know, maybe ooze, who knows? There's just a, a lot of Sles Selesnia has just a lot of random good cards, so which of those random good cards are in their deck? Who knows? Yeah, flying creatures just floating above the battlefield is pretty cool. That is that is a really nice touch, honestly. Huh. 
All right, and there is said angel. No, I don't think our opponent's budget at all. I don't think they're playing a budget deck. Seen three different mythics. I want to incentivize my opponents to play something else on the battlefield here before I Kaya's Wrath. I don't I don't know what's the, the better incentive, like blocking wise, if I block the 4-3 or block the 2-2. Two, two. That'll work. Played a resplendent angel out. That'll work. Yeah, hero really didn't do anything for us. Seraph didn't do a whole lot. So, I do have the ability to activate this Resplendent Angel. Why would you attack with Wild Growth Walker? Okay. With me playing white mana. Yeah, Tristani could certainly be rough. I don't think our opponent's going to have Tristani if they have, you know, like they have all these angels and then if they have Biogenicus also. Our opponent should not be attacking with Lyra at all, though. Right there. Since we just get to gain the 5 life back with Resplendent Angel and get to hit him with Diva Sanity. In a history lesson. Oh, history does repeat itself. Yes, yeah, just resolve the stuff. Shalai's really annoying because I don't get to settle them when they have Shalai. So we need to draw a removal spell. There we go, that'll work. I say a removal spell for Shalai, but this will work. We'll just clear out.
Clear out the Lyra. Take Shalai. The problem with grabbing the other saddle is my opponent could just have Shalai again. And then we're in big trouble. Oh yeah, I should have attacked with the my 4-4 four, four Vigilant Angel. Sorry, you're right. I know I do, I do forget that ain't that vigilant angel quite a bit. So I'm taking seven here, going from thirteen down to six to be able to get another four four. And be able to save the Settle. Oh, I should just play the Shalai, though. There. I forgot about the Shalai. I should just play that. Wish I had green man, I'd activate this July. All right, Splendid Angel, do your thing. So yeah, I, I had the mana to double pump a Resplendent Angel and make it a 7-7 seven, seven if my opponent blocked with Lyra. This battlefield's too big. Is everybody getting the lag, or are there there's some people that are not getting the lag? So I did hear last time that some people didn't get the lag. I guess everybody got it. It's over now. 
Yeah, just like little blips like that just kind of happen with this with this internet company. It's a great trade for us getting Lyra out of there and turning turn that into a 4-4. It's a, a great, great trade for us. So basically our opponent has to keep like their six mana up to be able to activate Resplendent Angel. I sure hope they don't have another Lyra in hand. We've gone through a bunch of Lyras. That's one, two. I guess we've only gone through two. Oh no, we also contempt. Yeah, we contempted a third. So yeah, we've gone through three. So my opponent's own settle doesn't do anything because we have Shalai. We've already got seen two settles from them as well. Let's take it back. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is... I can tell this thing's lagging over here, too. Like, on, on my screen. This should be over. And there we go. All right, so after sideboarding, I'm going to try to reset the client, at least. Let's get another Kaya's Wrath. Let's get these Hostage Takers. Those are both quite good. Uh, as far as cards to take out, I guess Moment Craving. Dovin. Thieves Andy gets outclassed by everything. This is not a good Thieves Andy matchup. Would I... Would I rather just have, like... I think his Moment of Craving is just not very good either. Deputy Detention does a good job of getting rid of Knight Tokens from History of Banalia. But obviously, W Detention does not go well with Kaya's Wrath. It is good against Ixalan's Binding, too. Thief did kind of win me that game. That's true. It's fair. All right, let's try this. Thanks, Bear. Okay. Reset time. Take a look at what our hand looks like. Chapel Fortress. Yeah, that's this will be a keep. Right? 
Yeah, double mortify. Looks like that'll be a keep. <laughs> All right, back in the game. Yeah, the whole two check lands only is not spectacular, but we're on the draw. Hopefully we draw a couple lands. Good job, Sausage. Made it to Diamond. Way to go. Very nice land to draw. Second blue source. And has Isolated Chapel coming to play untapped. Probably the best land we could draw. Let's either that or Water Grave. Merfolk. Branch Walker. Ooh. Op did not play a third land. Bold strat. We'll just check back in, see how it works out. Game's basically over. Pretty over. I would, I would. I mean, it's it's kind of greedy, but I kind of want to have sixth mana before we play to fairy, so we can untap two and have absorb. So, tucking their Wow Growth Walker isn't even really that bad of a play, considering I, I want them to draw a Wow Growth Walker really bad. You know, I want that to be one of their draw steps. But, you know, we just don't really need to. It's a very good. Not playing a third land ever. Not good. And so, there, there we go. We are 2-1. and one. Oh, yeah, I can't hit... Now, since I... When you alt F4 during a match, you, it kind of messes up the client where you do need to restart the client again before you can actually play. So there we go. If you're enjoying the stream and like to help support me as a full-time streamer, consider hitting that subscribe button. You get access to those 22 awesome emotes. You get to take part of our sub battle whenever that countdown reaches zero as well. Whenever that does reach zero, we'll be taking an entire stream of just battling against subscribers. It'll be a fun time. You got Twitch Prime, you got a free sub. Just link your Twitch account and your Amazon Prime account. If you have Amazon Prime, I mean. Yeah, they've changed the fifth card issue. You, you cannot open up you cannot open up fifth copies of of rares from or mythics from boosters anymore. And after you have all of the cards, you start getting gems uh, instead of those. Double wilderness reclamation. Uh, well, we'll take one. Opponent says good game, huh? I guess I'll just take the Krasis, the thing that blocks Thieves Sanity.
Hey, nice King Toll. King Toll, we didn't get a I didn't get a notification for that. For you getting your tie back. Maybe refresh your channel, see if there's See if there's a sub notification. That you can hit like at the top of the chat. Mystic is spicy. I don't know. I guess we just let them have all the mana they ever want. There you go. Welcome back, King Toll. Found a lot of lands. Goes down to one sixty eight. <laughs> yeah, Grixis Ponza did a whole lot for us. Here we go. So we can counter an explosive. We just hope they don't have explosive plus counter magic. Or plus. Yeah. Explosion plus counter magic. Sure looks like they do, though. Seventeen. It's seventeen if they want to keep a counter spell up. Twenty, if they just want to try to kill us. Oh, they still have another wilderness trigger though. They get to untap all these lands. They can do twenty. Still had that other wilderness trigger. Sent out their lands. Growth Chamber Guardian. Heck is that thing doing? Thought. Yeah, it certainly does not seem like our opponent has a counter spell. All right, Thief got it done. I could play some deputies in this matchup, I suppose. They're likely going to be playing a decent amount of creatures. 
after sideboarding here. Basically just gonna take out Hero and Dovin, a couple cards that don't matter too much. And Seraph. So this is 61. Alright, Dutch. Let's see. This is 61. All these cards are pretty reasonable to be playing. I gotta cut one, though. Thinking of cutting a maybe one of the two deputies, or maybe the hostage taker, or maybe just cutting an ego. I like ego. I'm gonna cut a taker. Do not want to cut a land. Certainly need to hit our land drops and everything. Do not want to go to 24 lands. That's no, definitely do not want that. I think hostage takering and Niv Mizzet sounds great though. I would cut any any card whatsoever in the deck before I'd cut a land. Every single card in the deck I would rather cut than land. So, if we take the Shiv and Fire, they won't be able to kill my Thief right away. Could also just take the Growth Spiral. Slow them down there. What do I want to Unmoored Ego? Do I want to Unmoored Ego Reclamation? Or do I want to say Niv or Krasis? Like, Niv and Krasis are both annoying. I'll take the fire. And... Do you kind of want this land? I'll ship it though. I <clears throat> if we start hitting with thief, we want to just hit land drops. It's a, a it's a pretty greedy graveyard there, honestly. It's not a thing. Alright, so I should not have taken... <clears throat> well, one, I should have looked at their deck a little more, but two, I should not have taken Shiv and Fire. I should have taken Niv. I kind of... changed course there. Should have taken Niv. Yeah, I should not take a chip and fire. Blech. Alright, so made a bad choice. We'll see if... How we do, see if we can uh, still get this.
pretty greedy of them just to throw down that other 2-2. Uh, two, two. Now they can't adapt that anymore in... Yeah, they can't readapt that, basically. It's like, like saying good game really early. I said that after like turn three last time. Why can't we just get the sixth land so I can play Thieva Sanity plus Mortify? Definitely need to take Niv. Big mistake there. Get Hostage Taker back. Get Deputy out. Get Kaiserath in here. I really don't like Deputy. Yeah, I could have Rask's Contempt the the Niv Mizzet and save Deputy there. I guess I was doing that so they don't get to draw a card, but that's probably just a bad play by me and just let them draw the card. I was not happy about the the choice with Thought Erasure earlier in the game. Growth Chamber or Niv Mizzet? That's a tough one. Growth Chamber Guardian is going to be pretty good against us here. Not hooray. They can still play Girl Chamber Guardian. Hooray! And keep the thief. Because I want to find an answer for this Growth Chamber Guardian. I don't know. I should just keep Thief. I have all tap lands. Did they even play a land? I'm pretty glad we didn't keep Thief, honestly. Must have seen <laughs> yeah, our opponent did not play a land last turn, even though they have that land in hand. Always with me. 
Six cards in library. We're going to be able to flip this as Kanta next turn if we don't like our top card. Attack. I know I'm giving them a chemistry's insight, but I I think that having a 5-5 five, five Hydro Crisis is really good. You know, be able to block the Growth Chamber Guardian. They can't, like, shiv and fire it. We've seen them have Bane Fire. They can Bane Fire the Crisis. Uh, can even, like, tussle with niv Mizzet and things like that. What's my opponent doing over there? Thought about playing Teferi and tucking the Frilled Mystic and being able to grab a Frilled Mystic. But that worked out even better. I w Let's skip to the good part. Thanks, that's of son. Glad you're liking the playlist. That would be interesting if our opponent did board out Wilderness Reclamation. That's certainly an option. That's certainly possible. Yeah, that's certainly possible. I like where we're at overall. Pretty sure we have this. I think our, our opponent did not, like, that turn they just didn't play a land. Their turn five, they didn't play a land, and we knew they had a land in hand. That really helped us. So much, so many counter spells. No time for a break. Come on, game. This is miserable. Come on. All right, I'll take those expansion explosions. They do have a Niv. All right, I can do this and still have Absorb plus Frilled Mystic. We'll just shock this Growth Chamber Guardian.
But of course, Niv, they play Niv, we j we're just going to tuck Niv. So we're just going to tuck that with Teferi. And then get it with Diva Sanity. No, looks like we're not going to get it with Diva Sanity. Because Grow Spiral draws two. Allowing them to deal two damage. And if I absorb it, they still draw the extra one and deal the two damage, so... Oh, yeah, could have frilled it. Forgot about the frilled. Well, that'll work. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Yeah, that was bad. I could have frilled it. I don't know. I just forgot about that. I was just thinking my counter, you know, I just thought, I was just thinking my counter spell was going to be. A problem. So they have one Bane Fire. No Wilderness Reclamation. No, there is Wilderness Reclamation. There's one. There's a couple there. Um... Probably better for me to be attacking with the crisis. Using absorb so we still have four mana in order to activate as Kanta. I'm not done yet. All right, we got there. Took a little while, but eventually we got there. And now we are three and one with Esper mid range. All right, let's get let's continue on. GG. Ugh. This has been a really long league. We've had some really long games here. That was just gem. It's amazing. All right, they're putting their card on top. We got the Gideon mirror match. Our decks are not a mirror match. You look like good old Esper Control right about now. Gonna go ahead and take the Gobo. So they don't get to cast the Gobo next turn. And then I'll Take the Spellbreaker. Alderator's messed up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Down, down. Hellkite. That's going in the graveyard. Uh, 
Then we'll just Kai's Wrath next turn. Yeah, we'll just Kai's Wrath here and then have Search Rose Kanta next turn. No reason to take another five. Alright, Dubs Mortify. So our opponent plays this Carnage Tyrant. We're looking pretty good. And just putting the trip the third Mortify in the graveyard, I guess. Work towards flipping this Escanta. I'll counter that because we don't get to mortify it right away. And now we know our Ascanto will be able to transform. Uh, I suppose so. I guess I need to flip that Ascanto there, but oh well. All right, glad we kept that land. With having Ascanta active, I thought just you know drawing a land because we could find spells with Ascanta would be nice for us. Now, as a miscount, I I didn't think I could play Hero and activate Ascanta immediately. You know, like I I didn't spend a lot of you know I counted that very quickly and I just miscounted, and we could have done both so. I constantly seek to innovate. So we'll basically just take out both of their land orals with the Mortify. And working Dovin up to the ultimate. Got a plus again next turn. There is elegance in simplicity. But then the turn after that will be able to ultimate. Is this deck more fun than Esper Control? I don't know, it's pretty pretty close. About the same. It's a little subjective. It's, you know, like, depends on what, you know, you really like as fun. If you like playing tons of sweepers or if you like attacking with Thiefus Sanity kind of thing. All right, so Taker and Kaya's Wrath. And Moment. I don't think Dovin is actually very good in this matchup, but it was just good because the game was already over, so it just helped us end the game that was already over. Kind of same thing with Hero of Precinct 1. But I guess Hero of Precinct 1 can trade with like the same creatures the Moment of Craving is trading for. The moment does kill like Lana War Elves and Pell Collector right away. Nah. It's true Ascanta is slow in this matchup, but I still like it quite a bit. 
could see trimming absorb. Actually, they may have like cinder vines and stuff. Actually, I'm gonna let's let's try. Let's just take out Ascanta. Yeah, we'll we'll try that. Absorb is really good after you stabilize, but it's not good before that. Thief of Sanity. Thief of Sanity also in this matchup is not very good if they're playing um, Collision Colossus and Kral Harpooners. They are very good against Thief of Sanity, basically. Thief is probably the card I should just be taking out. In all honesty. Alright, I'll take the Spellbreaker. Sure, they have Coil for Thief, but I don't actually need to play Thief. Yeah, we can wait a while before we play Thief. Basically, just try to stabilize with everything else and then eventually play Thief. But I'd rather just have Absorb up here. What do you got upon it? Shock. Shock. What do you do with that other four mana? Yeah, that can't resolve. I get to do that with Thought Erasure. Should eat the lava coil here. We just had a convenient time to play the hero to go along with the moment of craving. Um, that thing's big. I am not going to sit this one out. So the problem is the Thorn Lieutenant's also a 6-7 when they use their mana. Kai's Wrath of course would be my best draw step. But with the shock land we can at least shock in and get rid of the Ferrex. If I just contempt the Thorn Lieutenant. I still get a 1-1. One, one. They do need to spend all of their mana for Thorn Lieutenant. Hmm. 
If I go Teferi Tuck, that 1-1 one, one just kills Teferi. So Teferi dies if I go Teferi Tuck. But Thorn Lieutenant's gone and they have a 1-1. One, one. Other option is just going double Thief and chump block with the Thief. Hey, what's up, DJ Poly B? Sorry, I'm late. You need to take a time out. You just let me know if you're up for round two. All right, please brick for just a second here, opponent. It's risky keeping this thief on top, of course. <laughs> that is not a brick. Oh, no. Oh, that is not a brick. Wow. Get attack with these one ones and kill these. Yeah, I'm dead. That was not a brick. We just take out Thief. Do I have enough other cards to bring in? If I play as Kanta, play Absorb. Maybe play one Thief. I guess I can have one Thief. And yeah, I'll play a Cavalcade of Calamity deck. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, on the draw, <laughs> there's our one thief, but I'm not in the habit here of mulliganing as Kanta immediately. And then as Kanta can find us some interaction. Or, or we could just go hero, then thief. Get an extra one one to chump with. See if this hero eats a lava coil. Look at this, we look like a, a regular creature deck. Can Thief do it? Hmm. Interesting. Kind of want to double block Thorn Lieutenant and just trade Hero for Thorn Lieutenant. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. We will take the forest. And I still have one extra 1-1 one, one to chump block like a big Nullhide Ferox or something. Like this 1-1 one, one being here to help protect Teferi. Alright, well so much for helping Teferi. Alright, Teferi's gonna die. 
I can no longer. You need to slow down. But that's okay. Dude, come on. Ugh, Carnage Tyrant? That's a big one. Don't attack the fairy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, Carnage Tyrant, pretty big. Pretty scary. Only of course, Spellbreaker has Trample as well. Uh, so we can't, can't block and protect. All right, looking for a two mana spell or three mana, I guess. Either one, two or three mana. <clears throat> All right, so we will coil the spellbreaker and get a four four. And take seven here. I would have preferred a two mana creature to help block the Carnage Tyrant. That's really what I wanted to. No, I don't really listen to metal. Do they have the give their creature plus four, plus two spell? Yeah, I sure hope not. Alright, I don't think they do. Because, of course, that, that card also kills Thief of Sanity, obviously. That thing's big. It has keyword big on it. No, nah, I don't really listen to Rush. Double block. Is there any reason to only single block? I can't really think of any. So yeah, Nullhide has no trample. We can just take the Nullhide. We'll see what this gives us. I need to keep my curve lower. I think I'm just going to take the Nullhide. I know we could Mortify it, which is like the safer play. I also just want land now. Regret ditching land earlier. Well, so that's that's what I'm really looking for. Oh gosh. That's a problem. All right, got really punished by not mortifying. Very very punished. Well, I guess if I would have mortified, our opponent would have killed us. At least we're not taking lethal. So I can pay to and mortify and coil the Jade Light. And haste creatures are going to be a problem. 
Otherwise, I could just hostage taker the Jade Light and cast the Jade Light. And we have like more blockers. Even though we're probably just chump chumping the Null Hide though. In case my opponent draws Gruel Spellbreaker. Which I guess we can't, we wouldn't be able to mortify that. I guess it would have been like that, that six mana card again if, if they drew a Ravager Worm. Don't have very much life. Two is not many. Hope as Kanta can find, but they didn't have anything here. It looks good for us. We can find Absorb. There's Absorb. That'll help out. This isn't a fight you can win. Either play as Kanta or hit him for four. I don't really need to play as Kanta. Man, close game. Man, what a long league. <laughs> Realize this is only 3 1. If we win this, we're going on to the final boss. What a league. All right, final boss time. Let's get in the mood. Let's get this final boss playlist going. Hey, Night Owl is getting that quip toothbrush. You are going to really enjoy that toothbrush quip. <laughs> that uh, toothbrush night owl that quip toothbrush is very very high quality yeah you're gonna love it there we go that gets some hype thank you so much night owl so that uh, will up our quip goal for the next one That gets us up to 22 supporters with Quip. And remember, every 10 of those, we're doing a 12-hour stream. If you decide you'd like to upgrade your toothbrush also, you do get a free donation deck as well. So Night Owl, anytime you have a donation deck you'd like me to play, you just let me know. Unguided Nun, you got yours today? Your your quip? Nice, yeah, it is. It's a very, very good product. Yeah, this is the final boss. We are four and one. Oh, I didn't up I didn't update that. Sorry. We are currently four and one.
No, Justicer's portal. I don't think you can target your own your opponent's creatures with it. I think you just flicker your own creature. Yeah, you don't think you can target your opponents. Just gonna kill that before they start going crazy. I know we don't have the absorb to protect the thief by doing that. Which was, admittedly, maybe a bad choice. <laughs> I know, the Mariners are undefeated. They're 2-0. Uh, oh, Absorb costs 4 mana! Oh, I'm so dumb. So much mana. An unfortunate casualty. Tithe taker. Killing me. If you show remorse, not so fast. Ah, that got my attention. How do you deal with Vraska? Attack Vraska. Attacking's good. You can beasts are much more reliable than humans. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Sack the tithe taker. Do it. Do it. Sack tithe taker. Yeah. Love it. Keep up the pace. All right, we're looking real good here now with having absorb available as well. Come to me. So even though they have a lot of cards in hand. We are ahead on the battlefield. Ugh. That's an annoying one. As long as we win, nothing else matters. You know what? I'm not done yet. Tristani. Are lessons written in skin. I, of course, should have spent the one mana and made the Seraph vigilant. Just kind of playing quickly. That's a mistake. Hey, Mars Gaming. All right, Max, may, Max, Max, I'll, I'll check that out. Writing that down. Let's take it back. All right, we'll get that Vivian out of here. New to fairy. I'm known for my excellent timing. You just tuck the oligarch. 
guess that's something we could have done. All right, so Tristani. Our opponent's being a Tristani deck is pretty annoying against our Thief deck. They have a bunch of Planeswalkers, a bunch of creatures that, like, whenever you kill it, they make a bunch of 1-1 one -one tokens. So we could have, like, Deputy Detention to try to clean up the tokens. They have Hero Precinct 1 also. Yeah, so we could certainly go Deputy, uh, try to clear up tokens. Teferi is just ridiculous. I guess Stoven's good against a bunch of little token stuff. Hmm. Thief not as good against like their planeswalkers also. Braska, Vivian, they all kill Thief. Maybe we just don't play Thief. Maybe I just yeah, maybe I just don't play Thief and play Negate instead. Let's try that. Draw a couple lands. Would I rather have that negate or a thief? Probably rather have that negate. I should have led with Hallowed Fountain, because I could have drawn like Drowned Catacomb and I wouldn't have had to shock. Rude. Your loss will either be a tragedy or choice. comedy of errors. Hmm. Keep getting punished for tap for for playing Dovin there. Probably should just had my counter magic up. Not to be repeated. Definitely really punished for playing Dovin. Really good. The facts can't be denied. I am beaten. This looks so bad for us. Pack your bags and hit the road. For a wrath. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this Kaya. We'll worry about that later. Something banished. Funny, that's what I do. <laughs> Love the final boss. Lord of the Rings music. That's a, that's a good one. Time for plan B. As soon as Ooh, I think there we go, there we go. Let's skip to the good part. Good card. Good card. I don't think I've ever said that about Deputy before. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Out. Get rid of that Kaya. We can block the Imperious Oligarch. Right, and these things will, of course, chip at Teferi. was uncalled for.
We need to move quickly. All right, so Teferi's gonna die, but Teferi's gonna die, hero. You know, just drew us what like three cards there, gained us a lot of life. We will meet again. Never mind. Deputy attention sucks. I take back everything good I said about the card. I guess I have to. I guess I just have to do this. Good riddance to bad rubbish. All right, that's all I got. Usually I'm better at Ran out of gas. Need another Teferi. Alright. They they bricked. You can rest in peace. Just I do bricked. It somewhere else. They did not brick. It was one of their best draws. They certainly have plenty of lands to sacrifice to draw new cards. Alive or alive. Pain is useless, leaving the body. Yeah, the gold guard queen is really nice. This, the whole, basically, everything that kind of happened with us losing this game was because I played Dovin on turn three instead of holding up counter magic. I really did not need to play that Dovin on turn three. Kai's Wrath awkward yet again with our creatures. Would you like to see what's left of Skull? I've seen things that would break someone Played like this you. Played against the same Abzan deck a couple of times now. Seems pretty good. Maybe I just don't worry about Tristani. Now let's just go with this again. Tristani is kind of the problem with Hostage Taker. Same with Diva Sanity. While Ascanta is nice, all their planeswalkers kill Ascanta also. I 
And I guess they have like the mortifies too. They can make some 1-1s. One we'll just clear out the 1-1s one with Deputy. So I think they have Mortify. I guess I just let them Mortify. And just double spell. Why is their hand all, always stacked? Hand is stacked. Really hope they didn't draw a land for this Vivian. Really hope they didn't draw a land for the Vivian. It's not good. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. No one knows the wilds like I do. We're one man away from playing Deputy and having Absorb. We need that one mana to, of course, be a white source. Um, if I... I could Deputy the Vivian to get that out of there. Then we have to worry about two Seraphs. We could Deputy the Seraph and attack Vivian. Then we have to be worried about the other Vivian. Or, like, the other Seraph. I could wait and try to have Deputy take both Seraphs. So we have a lot of a lot of options, but none of them are very good. I think just probably not doing anything right now is the best thing to be doing. So that's that's not so bad for us that we absorb something else because I'll just take both Seraphs with the deputies, I suppose. Draw and fire. Thanks, Kitty Fat Man. Yeah, that's. So I kind of pride myself on doing it, staying calm. So, Vivian's at a very inconvenient three loyalty when we have our two flyers. I can also just attack here and attack with all of these and kind of have them force them to trade. Okay, so they want to keep both heroes alive. Basically, you know, like, our tokens both just traded. They just can heal. wanted us to keep both heroes instead of not keep both heroes. Golgari Queen was their draw? 
I'll leave dead bodies Balance I comes. Ready to join them. So both of these games, I tapped out and my opponent played a game breaky planeswalker. Both these games we've lost. This time after they played their first Seraph, I played my Seraph. Hoping they didn't draw the fifth land for Vivian, but I I should have just let that Seraph hit me and just keep up counter magic for Vivian, I suppose. I don't think that they just slammed their Vivian into the counter magic though, because how our opponent played before, they weren't gonna do that, so I was just gonna not be doing anything basically. I think that's a pretty tough matchup for us. I think we have we have similar decks. Uh, they just have more Planeswalkers that matter. We have like our four Teferis, but they have like Vivians and Vraskas. Uh, and even Kai is not that bad. And they have a lot of creatures. You know, like I think they have they have more Seraphs than we do. Uh, and Seraph is a really good card. And then even like their their crappy two ones that how those make tokens and stuff, those get pretty annoying whenever we're trying to like mortify everything. Um So I think that's a that's a pretty tough matchup for us. I think their cards kind of line up better against us. Our cards like Hero, Thief of Sanity, unfortunately not very good in that matchup. They did draw very well. They they did draw very well. They had they had uh, just good hands and everything like that. They did draw real well, um, and everything. Um, so. There we go. Overall, the deck, uh, not so bad. I'm not sure I like this more than just Esper Control, though. Really like like Esper Control. Hero Precinct 1 just didn't really ever seem necessary, or that, like... Sorry. It didn't really seem necessary, or that, like, we won games because of it, or that it, like, really helped us out that much. We had, like, a lot of other just really good cards and everything, but Hero Precinct 1... Didn't seem like it um, did a ton for us. Thief of Sandy, of course, is good. Uh, Dovin, not very good. So Hero and Dovin were the two cards that in the main deck that I was that I disliked the most and um, thought didn't really do very much. Didn't love Deputy Detention over there. Like, if you want to play Thief, like, I wouldn't mind having, like, some cast downs instead of heroes, you know, like, some something else like that. Uh, even, like, Duress or Negate main. I like to, like, Absorb was honestly just, like, real good for us. But then even, like, ho having Hostage Shaker main or more Seraphs, I wouldn't necessarily hate that. Because the, these games went so long. Um, yeah, Hero just wasn't a game changer. These games just went so long that... We'd have so many lands that just even having Hostage Taker against basically everybody. Hostage Taker would be good. So there we go. That's Esper Midrange. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.